I'm Corey Leff with your John Wall Street Sports Business Minute. UK-based promoter Matchroom Boxing and Perform Group have formed a joint venture to promote 16 US-based fight cards annually over the next eight years. Perform Group, which has committed a billion dollars to the venture, the largest investment in boxing history, will own less than half the company, but it does pick up valuable rights to broadcast the events on their digital streaming service, The Zone, as part of the deal. The Zone currently maintains sports broadcast rights in five countries, including Canada, where it owns exclusive NFL live streaming rights. With rights to the big four leagues under contract, the company will use boxing as its entree to the US market. Perform Group is a subsidiary of privately held Access Industries. The sports media company counts, the sporting news, and Goal among its US publications. While you can't invest in Perform Group, there is one way to play to zone. Dentsu, a Japanese advertising firm. In late March, Dentsu invested in DAZN as part of a deal which made the service available to customers of the mobile phone operator NTT Decomo. This isn't a short-term investment play though, as DAZN's investors are in it for the long haul. As Senior VP Commercial and Partnerships, Joe Markowski explains, the eight-year deal is consistent with previous Perform Group investments. And from a financial perspective, our, our investors are, are completely, um, Access Industry is our major investor and the rest of our board are, are very in, aligned with that view. They are, they are long-termist investors. That's consistent across all their TMT investments. It's consistent with their other investments in other sectors. They, they play for the long term and um, perform and design are no different there. I'm excited about 16 cards being added to the annual sports calendar, but strongly dispute CEO Simon Denyer's assessment that U.S. boxing market has almost eaten itself alive. He added, it's pushed anything compelling to pay-per-view, and the pricing is now around $100, which is insane. And that's simply not the case. The Adonis stevenson Badal jack fight was on Showtime. That great lomachenko Linares fight was on ESPN. You had Bronner, Charlo, and Gervonta Davis all recently fighting on the same Showtime card. Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker fought on Showtime. And Deontay Wilder, the most significant U.S. heavyweight champion since Mike Tyson, has never fought on pay-per-view. U.S. boxing fans are getting more big-time fights on cable television than any time in the last 30 years. And with the addition of OTT players like ESPN Plus and DAZN, up-and-coming fighters on the undercard are now seen too. If sports business is your thing, make sure you sign up for our free daily email newsletter at johnwallstreet.com slash sign up.